Hey guys, Razor here, bringing you a commentary on domination, domination. on Cracked with the L96A1 uh, with Lightweight, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja. Um, I was just wanting to bring you a commentary today to tell you guys about my opinions on Call of Duty in general, Black Ops, Snipers, and all this other stuff about the following Call of Duty's uh, will the following for the next Call of Duty be the same as it has been for the last two or three games? Well, let's start with Black Ops. I like Black Ops, but, like, it's a decent game and all, but I don't really understand why they made it, like, hard for people that just pick up the game, like, once or twice a week, but made it so easy for people that play it, like, one or two hours every day, like me. Cause I can pick I can pick up a sniper and beat gun, red guns on this game. People think it's really hard to quick scope or win with a sniper. You just got to play smart. Like most of the time when I'm with a sniper, I want to play smart and get the most kills with the least deaths. That's what most people want to do. But I don't do that with red guns. Cause I think I have for some reason I think I have such a big advantage over my opponents with this. With the red gun, with the regular guns like the 74U, like I can start sniping in a free for all and be losing by like, let's say, nine kills, and I can easily click my AK 74U class and make a comeback and win. I just don't get it why they made it so hard for occasional players to be good at the game, but made it so easy for players like me and game battles players, MLG, competitive snipers, all that. All that jazz. What? <laughs> I just said jazz. I don't say jazz. See, I failed right here, and I still get these guys both using Galils. I think both were using Galils. I know the first guy was. But uh, let's talk about Call of Duty as a whole. Call of Duty, all about. it's all about money now. It's not like, except f I know, like, the people at Black for Black Ops Treyarch, they... They've tried to make all these patches and do all this stuff to f fix their game. Where they've only po they've only patched it like one point. They're on patch 1.06, and people are like they didn't patch Call of Duty 4. They didn't patch Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 got to like patch 135 by like April or May, and Call of Duty 4 made it to one. 1.40 they couldn't like they can't take away like the frags and stuff the three times frags and i don't see people using them anyway i don't know why people complained about them so much as they did i hate claymores i would rather they did stuff like like a trip mine a trip mine like where you would have to cross a wire to get the kill like not where the wires like invisible where you can't see it but, like, if you had this wire with, like, this little sensor, like, if you put it around, like, a corner, it would be really, it would be a lot better than a Claymore, I think. Because, claim they've used Claymores three games in a row. Well, not really three. Not counting World at War. But, World at War, uh, Bouncing Bettys and Claymores on Black Ops are exactly the same. If you see one, you're dead. If you see one close enough, you're dead. But the thing about the Bouncing Bettys on World at War is they were, like, they had these gold tips and you could see them a lot better. Claymores are like instant death. Unless you have a 74U and lightweight sleight of hand, you're going to die from a um, lightweight sleight of hand, lightweight marathon, I mean. I'm used to Modern Warfare 2 saying the first two perks. But you're going you're gonna to get killed by the Claymore no matter what. I just tried to snipe on this game and do well because I didn't care if I quick scoped or if I pistoled or anything. I just wanted to get a good gameplay for you guys. But snipers, snipers were good in COD 4. They were amazing on COD 4. And Modern Warfare 2, not so much. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2, sniping was fun, right? But... It was so annoying to so many people with for Slide of Hand Pro. I don't blame the the non snipers that never took the time into practice and get good with the sniper. I blame them for not trying to 
use the sniper in practice because I know they all picked up the sniper, couldn't do what we did, and got mad and complained. That's why. But I don't blame them for complaining about the sniper. See, instant death. I can't believe I didn't see that claim more. But they blame snipers for this, but it was actually Infinity's Ward, Infinity Ward's fault for not balancing Slide of Hand Pro and all this other stuff. Because Marathon Pro, Marathon Pro quick scoping, I have no problem with. Oh wow, I hit my nose against the mic. <laughs> but I have no problem with Marathon Pro and with snipers, like because it's actually a balanced way to quick scope and it's still effective. I can still I can still kill just as many people with Marathon as I can with Slide of Hand. But everyone else uses Slide of Hand. Why not use it? You know what I mean? But because. I like to be different and all, but I don't like to just give everyone else the advantage and not my own. But also, I wanted to also talk about so many people are burnt out on Call of Duty already from from all these games they're throwing in every single year. But I don't see I don't see that in the next two, maybe three games that. Call of Duty will have such a big following because they'll just they're just gonna the media is gonna go stale and they're not gonna watch it they're not gonna play it sorry they're not gonna play it as much because they're just gonna make the same game over and over and over and over again I fail on this these shots right here but I still play smart right here like I know he's gonna throw an aid so I was about to go back I try to hit him and I I'm like oh don't go back I'm like go go forward like this and catch him from behind I did that and why do I get an assist I do get this guy though but what was I saying the initial followers from COD 4 might stick with Call of Duty to see how it pans out and what happens with the series but I just don't see Call of Duty like in the future uh, going anywhere that's just the gist of it I don't. You know why? Because, because the media has gone stale, and they're just, people are gonna get tired of seeing the same game over and over and over again every single year with just different guns and different different weapons. While in in the next two or three years, yeah, people are gonna make new games and be, have better technology and make better games with the technology. So why wouldn't you try to make those games? Call of Duty, Activision, Treyarch. Why wouldn't you try to change it up a little? This is Black Ops, it isn't Vietnam. It feels like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2.5. It doesn't feel like Call of Duty Black Ops. It doesn't feel like Call of Duty Vietnam. It doesn't feel like Call of Duty Cold War. It feels like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2.5. I don't care if you name your freaking maps Hanoi or Havana, it still feels like I'm playing on uh, MW2, just with l no stopping power and no painkiller, which I'm happy with, but I still don't, I still don't see Call of Duty going anywhere, and I may, they'll still get a great following the next two years, don't get me wrong, the next two Call of Duty games, well, I don't know about the non-Infinity Ward published, um, the non-Infinity Ward published, what's it called? The new Modern Warfare 2.3, Modern Warfare 3. But I'm out of time, so this has been Razor. I'm out.